Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the GTX 1660 Ti in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, this is a little bit overclocked, this is the Zotac Amp Edition, it's plus 50 on the core, plus 200 on the memory, it's running at 2055 megahertz on the core while gaming, and uh, we're running Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 gigs of RAM. You guys should have the same FPS with something like a Ryzen 5 3600, even a 2600 should run this game absolutely fine because it's it, it runs on Vulkan or DirectX 12 after all. Those are very well optimized APIs for the CPU. And well guys, we're running a driver version 441.12, which is the latest one optimized for Red Dead Redemption 2. Some people have been saying that older drivers are better in this one. I found that that isn't really true. I tested like four different drivers and they all performed the same or within margin of error. And let's get into it. We're running Vulkan actually because I found that we got two more FPS running Vulkan than DirectX 12 so we're gonna go with that. Neither of the APIs actually introduced some stuttering or anything like that so it's fine and we're gonna start with 1080p low settings we're also gonna be testing medium, high and ultra as well uh, like we did in RX 570 and yeah, as you can see, everything is turned down to the lowest except this because uh, it's on medium because it's actually the lowest. All right, guys, so Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see here, actually, it's where I tested the RTX 12 versus Vulkan. We were getting like 87 FPS with Vulkan and like 85 FPS with DirectX 12. So, yep. Those are like negligible differences. <laughs> if you want to play with DirectX 12, that's fine. What matters is that both APIs are absolutely playable in this game and run absolutely fine. What should we do? I think I'm gonna do another story mission because that's what I've been doing in these videos. Let's go here to P in the map. Let's go P. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Hello buddy, how you doing friend? You know what guys, I am just skipping cutscenes because I don't really want, I only want to test the GPUs, you know, I want to get into the game like later, in a later time, when I have time to play this game, like and really get into it. Right now I really gotta test all of the graphics cards, so that's what we're gonna do. As you can see here on low settings, we're actually getting like above 80 FPS, I would say, all of the time, which is pretty damn good. This is also very demanding and I'm gonna post the uh, benchmark runs at the end of the video because this game has a built-in benchmark you'll be able to see that this area of the map with all of these fog and effects and the snow and stuff like that is actually a lot more demanding than for example a city area with like sunny weather stuff like that so actually guys this is kind of like Ghost Recon Wildlands I wish it ran better in a wide variety of of hardware of course the 16 60 Ti is doing a very good job still on low settings, but look at these textures though. Yeah, doesn't look pretty good on low. <laughs> As you can see, the horse there looks pretty bad. Oh my god, cutscenes after cutscenes. I don't think this cutscene that happened right now was necessary, really. It was just them walking in the horse and Yep, nothing else ha happened. <laughs> okay guys, so no stuttering whatsoever with these specs. VRAM usage is like at 2.5 gigabytes. The RAM is at 9 gigabytes. I think I found out why the 750Ti was stuttering so much. It was the RAM, you know. Uh, I only got 8 gigs of RAM in that computer that we tested it with. And of course the uh, 750Ti only has 2 gigabytes of VRAM. So that's hindering performance. Uh, even further yeah I'm gonna retest that of course all right guys we're gonna do this they move so slowly guys and what are we tracking anyways I didn't pay attention to the cutscenes. We saw that the RAM usage was actually lower with the RX 570. I'm not really sure why. I think it's maybe because we're progressing a little bit more into the game right now. Do AMD cards use less RAM for some reason? I'm not sure guys this is weird. Uh, should I do this? Okay, I got this. Why do we want another one? Where is the other one though? Oh, there's the other one. Okay, wait a sec. Can I get him here? Call. Oh boy. It didn't attract. Please don't go away. Why? <laughs> Shut up, dude. I'm doing my thing. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Where are the tracks? God damn it. <laughs> 
I am lost now. Can I, can I do this? No. Focus, we need this <gasps> There's another one there. Here, no. Uh, unlucky. Come on. <laughs> I know that didn't kill it! God damn it! I want to do medium settings, please game! Right guys, we're back here at medium settings now. As you can see, the textures look a little bit better and there's like some ambient occlusion, some shadows going on inside. Uh, I'm just gonna go quickly through the settings again just so you know that I'm not lying. 1080p, everything else still the same. Okay. <laughs> Let's go guys, please. Oh my god, everything in this game is so slow, even the FPS. <laughs> so, 1080p medium settings, guys. What do I think of it? Inside we're getting 70 plus FPS, I think. Uh, we were getting like 55 with the, the RX 570, so we're now getting like 20 more FPS than that, I guess. So that's a good performance bump, that's like in another tier of performance I would say. Maybe like an RX 590 would get close to this actually, maybe like in the 70s, low 70s, high 60s, not really sure. But yeah, uh, as this is Vulcan it runs very well in uh, AMD cards. As you can see, textures here on the horse look amazing compared to what it was before. It was like Minecraft-ish, but now it's it's actually pretty damn good. Let's keep on moving. Oh my god, are you kidding me guys? I gotta do this all over again. <laughs> yep, I gotta do this all over again guys. God damn it. At least this time around it should probably work better than the last time. <laughs> Right, we're approaching the same area. As you can see, guys, we're in the low 70s right now. Now, the game actually looks a lot better here. The effects and stuff, the water especially. Wow. Okay, this is actually impressive. Medium settings look absolutely great here. And we're in the 60s now, guys. Wow, okay. That's a little bit too low. I wasn't really expecting 60 FPS coming from the GTX 1660 Ti at 1080p medium settings, but um, yeah, okay. That, that's what we have here. Red Dead Redemption is really, really demanding. Not really sure if it's only not well optimized or just really, really demanding. Okay, one down, two of them there. Can I shoot him like in this distance? Yes, I can. Another one. Oh, no. God damn it, it's wounded only. Oh, he's down now. All right. Oh, poor thing. I'm sorry. I don't really want to do this, man. I, I feel bad for the animals here in this game, guys. Like back in the 1050 Ti video, it was wolves. Now it's deers. God damn it. I'm gonna become a vegetarian by the end of this, guys. But the poor cabbages. How am I gonna do this? I can't hit anything. All right, so right as we left it. Now we're at medium setting, seeing like 60 plus, like 65 plus, I would say. We're mostly in the mid to high 60s and low 70s here at medium settings. The game doesn't look bad at all, by the way. Uh, if you have a 1660 Ti or a GTX 1070, should perform pretty similarly to this, I guess. You're all set for this game at medium settings at least. Of course, it's a single player game. You can play it at like 30 FPS and have a good time, uh, like consoles, you know. So we can probably put it on ultra settings and get 30 plus FPS all of the time with this card. Of course, we're gonna get to that. But yep, just estimating right now. What's going on now? Holy crap. Holy crap, bear my friends. Let's just leave him alone. What other way around, guys? Gonna take out my rifle over here, boys. Not gonna risk it. We need to eat those damn deers or cabbages. This is no place for a vegetarian, friends. So I'm not gonna become a vegetarian just yet, but maybe tomorrow. This is actually beautiful. It's all white, but uh, <laughs> it looks great still, you know. And it's so smooth, guys. I'm loving this smoothness because so far I've been playing this game with like 1050Ti, 750Ti and the RX 570. The RX 570 was actually very smooth on low settings, of course. But once you put it on medium, you actually drop from 60. This one, we're on medium settings, the game looks great and we're above 65 FPS per at all times so that's pretty damn good i'm holding r i'm holding r r i'm all god damn it okay <laughs> so we can actually change the settings now because it don't it doesn't need a restart 
because the only setting that needs a restart is the texture quality setting so yep okay let's put it on high and high is like this one yeah favor quality over here and not quite there there is like older settings let's do this as you can see these are the high settings that i chose uh, let's put the where's the motion blur okay here it is let's turn off that setting yep okay let's uh, apply that okay so high settings over here at 1080p 1660 ti puts us in the mid 40s i would say keep in mind this is like the, the storm you know storm is coming so there's a lot of effects and fog effects and stuff like that and that it's a little bit more demanding all right let's skin the damn deer oh boy should i look away should i look away guys is this youtube appropriate i'm not sure if it is few days later okay Okay, guys, so we're moving out, apparently. Uh, it's a sunny weather right now, so much more beautiful for thumbnails. That's good. 45 FPS, around 45 FPS is what we are getting with this card at high settings 1080p. So initially, before I tested this game in any graphics card, I was actually thinking of testing it in the 1660 Ti at 1080p, 1440p, and maybe 4K, because I really didn't think it would be this demanding, but as it turns out, the game is really, really demanding, guys. So no 1440p this time around. I think 1440p low will probably get as above 60 FPS, like just barely. Maybe like medium settings will still be playable, but yeah, anything above that, I don't think so. You know what? Most of you are playing at 1080p anyways. Maybe when the game gets optimized and stuff like that, and I have a proper benchmark path and I'm not progressing through the story, I'm gonna retest the game. Yeah, I'll definitely retest this game once Rockstar comes out with a new patch. Oh my god, I thought it was like night time, but what? Wow, look at these graphics now. The game actually looks awesome. Textures leave something to be desired, I think, even on the ultra settings, you know, but the uh, game looks really great, guys. I would have no problems playing like this. The Odriscoles. I, I still don't know how they're called. Odriscoles. Odriscoles. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Okay, we got some green into the image right here, boys. Finally, the snow is going away. Let's check on Bill. This is probably another thumbnail right here, boys. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh my god, this game is beautiful now. Where is he? What the? Is he? Oh, he's here. Oh my god, he was eaten away. What the heck? Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Is there gonna be an explosion here, guys? It's gonna be interesting. All right, I can run now, finally. Can I grab your horse? No. <laughs> Let's see if there's a lake or something around. I think I see water here, so. Oh my God, this is beautiful, guys. Okay, stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Jesus, it's so hard to stop the damn horse. Stop, horse, please. Please stop, okay? Oh my God, I'm gonna have so much fun playing this game, guys. All right, you know what? It's time now. For ultra settings, we're gonna push this slider all the way to the right with my arrow keys because the mouse actually doesn't work there. <laughs> yes, we do want it ditch applied. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, everything now is on ultra settings except for a few settings which actually don't go up from medium. Uh, well, they do, but not on ultra as a preset, you know, not on the preset. Okay, motion blur, disable that. What the hell? No! Did I restore everything? Oh no, you, you, okay, okay. You, you actually need to hold for it to restore everything. So, all right, let's do this, guys. Ultra settings right now. We're in the 30s. Oh boy, oh boy. We're actually in the 30s, okay. You know what? This right here, I think is the thumbnail. This is beautiful. Okay, guys, you really need some heavy GPU, you know, to play this game at ultra settings at 1080p even. I just can't imagine even at 4K. A 2080 Ti will probably struggle at 4K, guys. Okay, so we're gonna see an explosion now, guys. This is good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We are doing this, boys. It's gonna go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. Did I do anything wrong? God damn it. This is so underwhelming. <laughs> I was really looking forward to an explosion. Oh my god. Is the other guy dead? No, he isn't. Okay. I am coming. Don't flip, friend. <laughs> 
Don't flip, don't slip. Pull. Alright. Let's go, buddy. Should we grab stuff? Let's take stuff from from here. He's so fat! Wait, no, he's not fat. Oh boy. Yep, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, you shouldn't have done that as well. Okay, so people are just hidden here in the train. Uh, please, just hide your... Okay, no, just the other side. Okay. You know what, buddy, Arthur? You don't really need to get that out of cover to aim for them, you know? <laughs> Bye. Bye. So is everybody done? Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude. Help me, dude. Reverse. Break free. Break free. Break free. Yes. Break free. Just. God damn it. You shouldn't have done this, friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, get out of the train. That's how you do it. Playing experience is fine with the 1660 Ti. You can definitely play it like this. 30 FPS is fine for a game like this, you know, as I told you already multiple times. Oh my god! Okay, stop doing that. That, that actually scares me sometimes. Why aren't you dead yet? <laughs> Where are they coming from? So many. I want my hat back. More of them? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, stop showing that to YouTube. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think that's enough of ultra settings here. I'm gonna get out of here. That's the 1660 Ti video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just gonna roll some benchmarks now at the end on low, medium, high and ultra settings because the game has a built-in benchmark. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. I still have a ton of GPUs to test. Have a good day. I love you all. Bye-bye. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep it.